is apparently a new Knives Out trailer. I don't know what number this makes. Maybe the second one. It's not really labeled here. But I did see and react to a trailer a few weeks ago or so. And um, it did pique my interest to watch this movie. I had sort of tentatively decided that I really wasn't that interested in it. Uh, because of who's involved, Ryan Johnson. And then I watched the trailer and I was... I was intrigued. It looked like fun. Then I started hearing other stuff about it, and I hope it's not true. I heard that there's like a snarky narrative type thing going on, a, you know, agenda-based narrative about a certain group of people, um, rich Trump supporters or something like that, which a lot of Trump supporters are not rich, so I don't know why that would be, be part of the narrative, unless it's just they're going after just rich people in general, you know, the stereotypical idea that a lot of people have about rich people. So I don't know. This is just stuff I saw floating around, and it just might be grumblings with little to no basis in fact. So I will probably still watch this film. It, it looks like my kind of film, you know, like mystery sort of comedy stuff mixed in. So I'm going to check out this new trailer and see if we get a little bit more information, more than we received from the first trailer, which not that it wasn't a lot of information. We sort of had an idea, but maybe this will show us more. And so let's check it out. I think you have something you want to tell me cool font and I like the thing with the knives it's pretty clever Harlan started out with a rusty Smith Corona and built himself into one of the best-selling mystery writers of all time 30 languages over 80 million copies sold you guys fans I mean I don't do much fiction reading myself big but... fan I'm a big fan <laughs> <laughs> who is that guy uh, Mr. Blanc is a private investigator of great renown I read a tweet about a New Yorker article about you you're Famous. Oh God! The night of his demise, <laughs> the way she family acts. gathered to celebrate your father's 85th birthday. <laughs> and your son, Ransom, did he attend as well? Yes, but he left early. I think Linda was upset. Walt would get a little Irish courage in him. He'd get into it with Harlan. What? Richard said what? Are you baiting me, detective? Attempting to be thorough so we can figure out the manner of death. You mean if someone killed him? <laughs> You think one of us, one of his family, Walt, Walt killed him. Mr. Blanc, I just buried my father who committed suicide. Why are you here? Because he didn't commit suicide. I suspect foul oh, play. play. I have eliminated no, no suspects. Harlem was cleaning house. Everyone in the family has possible motives. Was Harlan planning on cutting off Joni? Did he plan to fire Walter? What kind of Richard have an accent is he trying to do, like That's Southern? That's duty conjecture. Funny, Ransom, you skipped the funeral, but you're early for the will reading. Up your ass. Very nice, oh, Ransom. Ransom. You gotta do this more oh, often. <laughs> the family is truly desperate. When people get desperate, the knives come out. This is a twisted web, and we are not finished untangling it. Not yet. I keep waiting for the big reveal. All of them lied to me. There is one guilty party behind it all. You know something. Spill it. Oh my god. Tell me what happened to my grandfather. I think you have something you want to tell me. Okay, well, my interest is still peaked. I This, in all honesty, looks like it's going to be a really fun film. Um, you know, I'd mentioned what I did earlier. The, the, the reason things like that get under my skin is because I, I really don't appreciate that type of snarky attitude about you know, like broad brush sort of condemnations of of certain groups of people that other groups of people don't like, you know, and I mean, obviously there are different um, things involved in all that, but it, it just, it just kind of gets under my skin 
when it becomes very obvious that there's some type of narrative that's underlying a story that we're being fed. And I, I'm not a real huge fan of that. I'm not picking up any of that in the trailers. Um, and I, I'm still quite interested to watch this film. I, it, it looks like, I mean, it's a, whodunit is a great way to describe this. Reminds me of the movie Clue. I can't remember if I mentioned that in the other trailer that I watched. Now, the downside to this, to this particular trailer, and I don't remember how long the first one was, the first one that I watched. Not sure, but this one felt a little bit too long, like it was showing us, um, I mean, I... I enjoyed everything I saw. It was, you know, it was fun, and I like seeing more bits and pieces involved in the story. But the problem is, it felt like it was a little bit too much, and I feel like it wasn't really necessary. So, I, I don't. I'm not so sure that I'm a big fan of the way this was laid out for us. Um, you know, we're, we're obviously seeing spoilers. Not enough that we feel like you know, that we can accurately guess, but we obviously, we know, you know, obviously, well, we know Christopher Plummer's going to die because that's the whole, that's, that's the plot point that has starts the whole narrative of this story. But the girl with the spider on her face in the chair, she looked like she was dead. I don't know. So when we see her, we're going to know that she's going to be dead or she's going to end up in that situation. So, you know, sometimes I'm, I, I, I don't think it's the best idea to be showing so much stuff like that you know, because then you know what's in store for a character. Uh, unless it just doesn't matter in the overall scheme of the narrative. I, I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I see it. So this is going to be coming out in a couple months, Thanksgiving, or I guess Thanksgiving weekend or around that time. So yeah, I will probably be t going with my parents to see this, taking them to see it. My mother did express interest in it, so hopefully it will be as fun of a movie-watching experience as the trailer was. I, I do feel like, despite my complaints about the trailer as far as it being long, it does feel like it was put together pretty cleverly. Um, I, I liked the, you know, the, the little snippets of dialogue that we see. We're getting a feel for the personalities of the people involved. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how this plays out on the big screen. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I might change my mind. Oops. Um, sorry. I uh, might end up changing my mind after I see it. Who knows? But um, whenever I do get around to seeing it, I will... If this is as fun as it seems like it's going to be, I'll probably end up making a review video about it. But, you know, we'll see. I'm going to go see it tomorrow. So, um... I'll probably make a review video of that. It'll just be another one of those, you know, off the top of my head sort of thing. I, I really don't have time to write out long, well thought out review type stuff. I'm just kind of saying things as they occur to me or as, you know, how it impacts me in the moment. Later, after I'm done recording, you know, and I've uploaded something, maybe I think of things in a different way, you know. So, but it is what it is for, you know, as I'm recording, this is just how how I do it. So um, I look forward to this, as I've said already, and we'll get back to you guys whenever I get around to watching it. If you guys happen to watch it before I do, please let me know what you think so we can talk about it. See if it's as, um, as good as it seems to be, which I hope it is, because I like to enjoy moving watching experience. So, okay, that's it for this time. Bye.